Welcome back, Nick and Lex here. Thank you so much for joining me to another episode of Music with Nick. Today we're going to do some jazz fusion requested by RG. Um, thank you so much for this request. This is going to be very interesting. Now, in um, since we since we did the interview with um, Hernan Romero, I think RG got inspired and he wanted to send me a little bit of the musicians that um, Mr. Romero had played with. And he actually added something here, a uh, couple of notes, um, which I do appreciate, RG. Thank you so much. So it says here, Peter um, Erskine and Mark Johnson, along with John Amber, uh, Amber, it's Amber Crombie. That's the guitar player. I know uh, um, John Amber Crombie uh, a little bit. You know, I've heard some stuff, but I've never heard Peter uh, Erskine and Mark Johnson. But it says this is the one where Mr. Romero had played with the drummer and bassist. And then it says also Neil Peart used to take jazz drum lessons from Peter Erskine, that's the drummer we'll see. Um, formerly with Weather, Re Weather Report, before having his own albums, John uh, guitarist John Abercrombie played in groups led by drummers Billy Cobham, Cobham, and Jack DeJohnette. I think Jack DeJohnette is also one who has played a lot with uh, Pat Metheny. And uh, here I think he plays a Roland GR700 guitar synth. Uh, Mark Johnson played bass, bass pianist Bill Evans last trio, and later had a group called Bass Desire. So this is really some cool information that he adds to when he requests a song. So I, I mean, it is stuff that is hard to know, you know, like doing all this. So knowing all this, I have a better understanding of what's going on because this is a lot of this is jazz and this is a lot of. Uh, improvisation and it's kind of nice to know who's everybody like who's who has played with whom and what's going on but this is going to be a nice let me just move a little bit here because I um, like to pump up the screen a little bit um, for you guys since I'm by myself like Alexa and I don't fit in this but um, this is gonna work so yeah let's enjoy Peter Eskrin, John Amber Crombie and Mark Johnson on the bass um, Peter Erskine, Erskine on the drums, of course, and John Abercrombie on the guitar. So let's see this um, this clip. I hope you guys enjoy. If you're new to the channel, please like and subscribe. And if you would like to request one of these videos or songs for me to react to, you know how to do that through Buy Me A Coffee. Thank you so much. I hope you enjoy. Let's go.
love this because it sounds a little bit like, you know, um, I mean, yeah, it sounds a little bit like the meaty, like the synth guitar from Alan Holdsworth, but I love that it kind of gives you a, a little bit of a, an idea that it's almost like a trumpet, you know, it sounds like a trumpet. Um, now a lot of people, I guess, wouldn't like this. I'm, I'm in heaven. <laughs> it's like, this is what I love this crazy, you know, going out of the box, you know, totally, completely off the map, um, jazz fusion. Uh, this is what I, I love this stuff. I don't know. It's just, I just feel really welcome here. You know, I don't know why, but, uh, I mean, it sounds so cool that he can actually sound almost like a wind instrument, you know? So, and the drumming's fantastic. Oh, so good um this whole trio is really really cool thank you rg for this this is really special let's continue Beautiful, beautifully played, beautifully everything. Uh, I love, and let me just like go here and take this off. Let's see, can I remove it? I can. Okay, so I'm still here. I removed myself from <laughs> let's see 
Okay, so I deleted myself, but I'm back. So this was fantastic. Uh, I just loved this interpretation. I loved how he was changing styles. Do I have a, some kind of pen here? Like when he was doing like this, and he would change to playing like this, and then he would do this again like that. So cool. Um, and just the ease of playing like this and um, so clean and it was never boring or it was always entertaining what a great drummer what a great bass player and also john on the guitar how interesting he made it um with this synth guitar um just great i could listen to this for hours um this was a nice this was really nice um also uh, i totally forgot because i was reading um the description from rg um, this is called this is called Furs on Ice, this song. And um I don't know what year they performed this, but it must um it is from the Drummer World website on YouTube. Um so let's see. I don't think they add the year. It doesn't matter. I mean, you know, it's timeless as it is. Um well let me know what you thought. You know, did you enjoy this? Was it a little bit too much? Was it too weird with the synth guitar? What did you think of the drumming? What did you think of the bass player? Um, what What do you think about that? That um, Hernan Romero played with these people. Isn't that wonderful? Um, it's so cool to, I mean, to talk to him about this. You know, in the interview and. And we'll have him on again, I mean, I'm sure. Right now, he's still on tour. He's sending us pictures. He's being the nicest guy. He could also be like, well, you know, I did this interview, but he really, we really clicked, you know, and we really want to um, visit him um, in New York um, and then, uh, you know, maybe hang out and go to the studio and, like, you know, make a little video there and maybe he even said i would like to play with you isn't that it's insane that is an insane honor for me that he would say that you know because who am i i mean compared to these master master musicians um it would be fun he's gonna really humble me you know that I, <laughs> so i'm already humbled so um but yeah this was amazing great request i loved it um this is the stuff that i listen to in my own time um when i'm not listening to steely dan i guess uh, <laughs> and genesis um they're like my new favorite bands and also like a lot of stuff like for example um the other day like i can't stop listening to like big wreck they're from canada a rock group but it's so gr so great the way they um that um I did this marathon and it had Big Wreck in it and it's so fantastic. Um and I can't I can't stop listening to that song <laughs> called Ghosts um because of the solo. I'm still learning it but I've had I really haven't had time to, you know, record it and like play it for you but uh, I will eventually. So, well thank you so much for being here. I hope you enjoyed as much as I did. Thank you, RG, and I hope to see you in the next one. Take care.